Currently, there is highly radioactive material called sludge sitting in the 105K West Reactor Basin on the Hanford site near the Columbia River. There are two teams working, preparing for sludge removal. The team at the basin and the team located where the sludge will be stored. This team of workers just completed an assessment to receive and store the sludge once it's removed from the basin. This completion marks a major achievement, making Tea Plant officially ready to receive sludge. Tea Plant is at the center of the Hanford site. It's a nuclear facility once used to process plutonium in the 1940s. The team has worked diligently to modify the facility to safely store and monitor the sludge that will be stored in sludge transport and storage containers, known as STSCs. Okay, next step is complete. The completed assessment reviewed every phase of the sludge retrieval process to ensure procedures, processes, and personnel are prepared for safe and compliant sludge retrieval. Once sludge operations start, these workers will receive and store an estimated 24 STSCs. I am very excited that we are getting to the point that we can accept sludge here at Tea Plant. Uh, it's a big environmental issue to get the sludge away from the rivers. Uh, the teamwork here at Tea Plant is amazing. The folks here are great to work with and they really come together cohesively as a team to, to get things done and that's been a real pleasure for me to be able to experience and be a part of. Over the next few months, the tea plant team will continue with preparations and training. The team at the basin where the sludge is located still has a few assessments to complete before they can declare readiness. Sludge receipt is expected to begin in May.